Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm covering a few features from 2021.3 that I hadn't covered. And this one I'm covering is WKT or GeoJSON support. Now, this is a bit of a weird one because I always thought these file types were already supported, but actually when you dig into the details, this is a very particular way of supporting these spatial files. Just to show you how this works, let me go over here to a text file option. So typically when you connect to spatial data sets, you go to the spatial options. With this one, uh, you can actually go to a slightly different file type. So in this case, I'm gonna open up this tab separated file, this TSV. If I click open, you'll see that it opens this data source, which has a data source over here. And you can see that Tableau's brought it in, into its data model over here on the left. Now, the important thing to notice here is that the sample county is uh, the name, which is fine, but you can see my polygon data is actually contained in text inside of the file. So essentially, if I open this file up, let's go ahead and do that now very quickly. If I go over here to this uh, particular file and just click open, uh, and it's gonna ask me what to open it in. I'll just open it in WordPad, just so you can see the file. You can see that the data is actually there. It's just held as text. So it's not very uh, a good format to connect in. Now previously, what you'd have to do is you'd have to run a script to kind of get all of that set up into a shape file. Then you could bring it into Tableau. But with this feature, you can just just go here to where it says ABC and select the spatial option. And there you go, Tableau turns it into a polygon straight away. And when we go to sheet one, we can double click the polygon and voila, we have the spatial data ready to visualize. Now I Googled a bit about the WKT and GeoJSON support. And I actually found that this is actually quite a painful thing to do. Normally people have to run scripts to do this. And it's just nice that Tableau has this ready to go. So if you use Tableau, this might be already a really good way of making sure that you've got the data set ready to go and you can work with it. Now you saw me open up a TSV. That's essentially just a text file. It's very similar to CSV. You could also do the same thing in Excel. It's no different. It's exactly the same setup. Now what I'm gonna do is open up a GeoJSON file just to see how that works differently. So to do this, I'm actually just gonna add a different uh, spatial file here. And I'm just gonna go to the spatial file option because a GeoJSON is actually a spatial file format. And you can see here that I've got the file uh, on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open that. And when we open up, we get the standard um, uh, sort of uh, view here that we're supposed to get. And you can see here that I actually do get uh, three different names and the three different polygons and it's automatically supported. If I go to a new sheet here and I just go ahead and put geometry on color just to make sure we've got the everything we need. Actually, I need to put name on color just so that we make sure we've got those three things set out. And this is a slightly different sample data set. So it looks slightly different to the previous one. And you can see that we've got the three polygons there. There's one there, there's one here, and there's one there. And that's all working nicely. So again, very easy to connect to these file types and get them working. And that's pretty much it for the feature. There's not much more to that. I'm not a spatial expert. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll try and do some research to try and answer them in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.